Hello everyone, I'm Daniel. So today we are going to talk about the various batteries that can be found in DJI drones. So firstly we have the Phantom 4 battery. So the Phantom 4 battery is uh, quite a long battery already. It's been used since the original Phantom 4 and it has since been used for various other Phantom 4 drone models such as the Phantom 4 ICK and the Phantom 4 Matu Spectral. So next, what we have here is the standard Mavic 2 battery. It's been used for quite a long time as well, similar to the Phantom 4. It's been used in the Mavic 2, the Mavic 2 Zoom, and the Mavic 2 Enterprise. And what we have here is, uh, is the battery that is exclusively used for the Mavic 2 Enterprise, as it has a self-heating function, which means you can actually switch this battery on so that it can self-heat up without switching on your drone. And then, what we have here is called the WB37 battery. This battery is used for uh, as an external battery storage for your Phantom 4 RTK controller and even as an external battery for your Matrix 30 and your Matrix 300 remote controller. And lastly, this is what we, uh, what we call as the advanced type battery. Uh, it's similar to the Matrix 300 except these are used for the Matrix 30 batteries. So the Matrix 30 operates on two batteries. This is so that it has a hot swappable function which means uh, as soon as you insert two batteries inside, you can actually just switch the batteries together without switching off your drone. So. Every battery that's manufactured by DJI, as you can see, has four LED buttons. This LED button, each LED button, indicates 25% of battery level. So all four means 100%. So how do we take care of these batteries? Well, first and foremost, what we advise is that you always charge your batteries one day before the day that you intended to, to fly your drone operation. So for example, if you want to fly your drone on Wednesday, you will need to charge on Tuesday. Second, uh, the best way for you to take care of your battery, especially after you uh, finish flying, is that you let it cool. Uh, by, you let it cool by itself. Usually, you can actually just uh, place it in front of a cooler or you leave it as that. Once it's been cooled down, then you can proceed to charge your battery again. Also, another thing that you can look out is that whenever you fly your drone, do not completely drain your battery. As soon as the remote controller pops up a notification that says that your drone needs to uh, go home and land, you should actually just press confirm so that you, you will have enough battery for the drone to come home and that you, your battery will not be completely drained. Another thing that you can actually take care of, take care of the battery is by actually do not let it be full charge, especially when you are not planning on using it in the nearest time. So for example, you finish your operation on Wednesday, but you want to, uh, you want to continue your operation the next week on Wednesday. So between this, this Wednesday and the next Wednesday, you shouldn't charge back your, bat your drone batteries until full charge. Only charge it back the next Tuesday. So that's a little bit of a tidbit or just a qu quick guide on how to take care of your DJI drone batteries. So that's it from me. We'll see you in the next video.